morning everybody it's tuesday and i thought i'd make sure that i can help you along with your work that i've set aside for today so right everybody let's get started guys what we're going to start off by doing today is we are going to start off by doing some mats all right now we're going to be looking at this worksheet here that has got a whole lot of our maths coins on it and some number sentences for number six okay so starting at the top of the page everybody they want you to find out different they want you to think about different ways of making the number six so if we're going to have six all together how what kinds of numbers can we use to make six so for example it could be if i've got six it could maybe be a one and a five or sometimes it's going to ask you three different numbers to make a six and we have to add them all together to make six remember try not make it more than six it has that all your numbers have to add up to six all right next thing guys what you're going to do for me is we've got a whole lot of coins and we're going to add them up all right so let's look at the first lot of coins that we've got and let's count how many coins we've got we've got five senses five cent coins let's count them count them one two three four five six seven we've got seven five cent coins and we want and then what I'd like you to do is counting in fives try to see if you can see how many cents there are together you're going to count in fives okay let's practice 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 cents and then we're going to use some repeated addition with our fives over and over again so 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, plus five and so on and what you guys are going to do is uh, the easiest thing to do guys is remember to count in your fives and write down your answer and guys what we've got too is because we've been counting five senses we've got seven five senses what is our answer we times in seven times five what is our answer and write it down then moving further along down the page, everybody, you're going to do the same thing with your one rands, your five rands, and your two rands. Okay, so say to, so when you look at your one rands, go and count how many one rand coins you have and add them all up together. Look at your repeated addition for your ones and see how much they add up all to together. And the last thing, they, they're taking all your 11 one rand coins and they're timesing, they're taking all of your 11 coins, they're timesing them by one. Just like what we've been doing in the steps before. So don't worry and don't get confused with your answers. Okay. And then when we move on to our five rands, we've got a couple there too. And when we get to our two rands, we've got a few there too. Try and see if you can do them. When you get to your fives and twos, that'll be quite easy too, because we can count in fives and we can count in twos. All right. And moving on to our last maths worksheet of the day, guys, I've given you four little purses. And what I'd like you to do is I would like you to add up all your money that is inside each purse. Don't forget, when we count up our rands, we keep our rands together. We don't forget to write a nice big capital R in the front. We write how many, we write our number of rands, so our R, our number. We put a little full stop and then count up all of your senses. All right, and put them together after your full stop. And you can write them inside your boxes there in some of the room in your boxes. Then, guys, what we've got is we've got some fun sums that I'd like you to think about. Some of them are quite easy. I know that you'll be fine with these. So add them up and see if you can write down the answers. We've got 10 plus 10 plus 10. We've got 20 plus 20. Take away 5. 
of. And then when we get to the other side of our sums, they they've put some, they've put one or two there that are, that might make you think quite hard. If I've got thirty four, how many must I take away to get thirty one? If I've got twenty one, how many must I plus to make twenty five? Don't let those trick you. And then, guys, when we get to our word problem, remember how we do it in our class together? You might have to teach your moms and dads. Let's read it together, shall we? Mishka bought a doll for 25 rand. Her brother bought a toy car for 14 rand. How much money did they spend all together? So, guys, you're going to take... Remember, all together means that we plus. Look out for your key words. All right. Remember, if we talk about less than, we take away. If we talk about more than, we plus. So all together will say to you, will think to yourself, if, if they're asking me all together, how much money was spent all together? I've got 25 rand from Mishka that she spent and her brother spent 14 rand. What am I going to do with those two numbers? So write yourself a sum. Write yourself a sum. So remember, don't forget to write your number, your first number that they've given you. Then don't forget to write your operation. So is it a plus? Is it a minus? And you're going to write your next number, write your equal sign, and then you're going to write your total answer. Don't forget, it, they are talking about money, everybody, so don't forget your capital R in the front of your answer. If you would like to, everybody, I know it helps lots of you, and it definitely helps you to check your work. If you want to, guys, you can draw some circles to help you as well. All right. So you can maybe draw 25 circles and another 14 circles, maybe, if it helps you. Okay. And lastly, guys, you're going to complete the number pattern. Now, say to yourself, right, we're starting off with 100. Then we're going to 95. Oh, then we're missing a number. Then we go to 85. Missing a number, missing a number, missing a number, 65. Are our numbers getting bigger or are they getting smaller? If they're getting, if they're getting, once you've decided what order they're going in, are they getting bigger or are they getting smaller, how many are you plussing or taking away each time? Think about it. It's a lovely pattern to help you along. And we've learned how to count in them, so think about it. Good luck, everybody, and I hope uh, I hope you all cope with your maths today. And I'll see you in a little bit now for our time to read worksheets.